So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me Let's get those exotics. So first, I'll explain a bit about this guide while I show you the location. Then, I'll show you the build that we're going to be using today. And finally, we'll get right into the walkthrough. So today's Lost Sector is very easy for fast clears. I recommend farming it a lot if you need the armor piece in rotation today. In this video, I'll use a class specific build that I'll show you in a second, but a very effective universal build is in the description that all classes can use. Best part is it uses no exotics. And now that you know how to get there, let's get right into the build. So for our build today, we'll be taking advantage of Strand Titan. For Chamber of Starlight, the build is the same as my typical Strand Titan build, except we have three new weapon choices. We're using a bow, glaive, and Deathbringer. The bow is here for taking care of the Overload Champion. The Glaive is here since it trivializes Unstoppable Champions. Best part about Glaives this season is you can destroy Unstoppables without using any ammo. Now for Deathbringer, I recorded this during Void Surge week. If it's Solar Week for you, feel free to use Galahorn instead. This exotic is here because it absolutely melts the boss and champions. For our exotic, we're using Abeyant Leap, which lets our grenade suspend more targets much easier. For our grenade, we'll be using Shackle to suspend even more. Now for the fragments, we'll be using Threat of Mind, Finality, Generation, and continuity. Continuity will suspend targets for longer. Generation gives us grenade energy for dealing damage. Finality just gives us some free damage when defeating enemies with finishers. Finally, Threat of Mind gives us barricade energy when defeating suspended targets, really solidifying our gameplay loop and playing into our suspend spam. For your stats, as always, you'll want 100 resilience for 30% damage reduction and as much discipline as possible. You should also consider grabbing Heavy Ammo Finder and a Scav mod correlating to your Linear Fusion Rifle. For me, my Linear is Void, so I'm using Void Scavenger. And now that you know the build, let's get into the walkthrough. Now the first thing you're going to want to do when you enter the Lost Sector is shoot this Hobgoblin down with your bow. He'll be trouble later if you don't take care of him now. Then you'll throw your Shackle Grenade at the Unstoppable and you will shoot your Deathbringer in the air right at him and you see this absolutely melts him. And we'll clean him up with our Glaive. Now from here, we're gonna have to clear out a couple of adds before we can progress to the next room. We'll just shoot at these guys. The Void Explosion from our matching shield just takes care of them really easily. Clear out those guys at the bottom, then we'll clear out these guys at the top. And then after these guys are dead, we're just gonna throw a Shackle Grenade and run past the rest of the enemies. Pretty simple stuff. And then when you get here, you're gonna jump up right where I'm standing right now, and you're gonna grab the attention of the Unstoppable Champion if you don't have him chase you down, it's going to be trouble because he's going to run across the room and it is much harder to kill him from the other side of the room. Now after you stun him, you're going to want to block while you are meleeing him down with your glaive as that increases your melee speed which obviously gives you a higher DPS. After you stun him, you can glaive him down, you can use your Deathbringer which is what I used right here. It doesn't matter too much, just take care of him. After that guy's dead, another one will spawn and you will do the exact same thing. Now after the unstoppable is dead, make sure there's no more adds and then you're going to run exactly where I'm standing right now. The rest of the lost sector will be handled from this position. We're going to whip out our bow, take care of these taken goblins as they are making the boss immune. But before we take care of the boss, we're going to take care of the overload champion on top. First we'll kill the taken goblins just to get them out of the way so that we're only having to deal with one enemy. Then we'll just glaive down the overload from here. We'll just keep hitting him down until he falls over. And now that we've taken care of him, we'll just start shooting our Deathbringer. And this will get the boss quite low. And if you aren't able to kill him with your rocket launcher because he does move around quite a bit, then you'll just run in with your super, whatever you're using and they'll die pretty quickly. It's pretty simple stuff, guys. This is actually one of the easiest lost sectors in the game, as you can see. Yep, we took care of him pretty easily, not even using our super. Now, before you destroy your mouse clicking off of this video to go farm with your new strats, I'd like to re-grab your attention for 10 seconds. Only 2% of you are subscribed. This is so sad. And here's a trade offer. I give good guide, you give good sub. 
I post daily content on this channel. You can expect daily Lost Sector guides at a minimum, but I also have some very fun Destiny 2 videos planned. Either way, thanks for watching, good luck farming, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next Lost Sector.